Hey everybody, it's Blazing Outdoors here. Uh, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Uh, been really busy between work and holidays and people's getting sick. So, uh, hadn't really been able to fish, hadn't, hadn't been doing much fly time. But uh, had some interest in this iridescent Frenchie fly. I've been meaning to make a fly time video on it for quite a while now. So I'm finally getting around to it. Um, so we'll get started here. Uh, in the vise, we got a fire hole si or fire hole 551 size 16. Uh, it's the uh, wide gap hook. Gives a little more extra room for the bead. Uh, works really well for Euro jigs. Um, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Also, if you hear a little extra uh, background noise, that's my little boy running around, but he's okay. He won't bother nothing. Um, got a 2.8 millimeter silver bead here. You can use any color you want on the bead. Uh, I've seen people use copper on these and stuff, but I generally go for the silver. They work really well. Uh, had no reason to change it on this fly. So for thread, we are going to go with um, olive colored, 72 denier unithread, unithread. I'm gonna start right behind the bead. Wrap all the way back to the bend of the hook. And you don't want to go too far. Like you don't want to. You don't want to start wrapping down where the hook starts to bend down, uh, because then when you tie in your tail fibers, well then it's going to kind of make your tail fibers angle down. And you want those tail fibers going straight across. And for the tail fibers, we're going to be using uh, brown CDL, and um, you can use any color you want on the CDL, but. For this fly, I usually, usually like the brown color. It goes along with the uh, copper ribbing that I put on it. So just get you a few fibers. Gonna measure them out. You want them about the uh, same length as the hook shank. Lay those on. Just make a few wraps to hold them in place. Snip off the excess. Now you want to make a nice little layer of thread here for the body after you get those tail fibers in. All right, so as you can see, our tail fibers, we laid them just directly on top of the hook shank, tied those in. Uh, loose wrap it first and then tighten down over the top and it keeps them right on top of that hook shank going nice and straight back from the bead next we're going to be tying in um, just some pearl tinsel you don't want to go too big on the tinsel I've noticed that um, it's better to either use the small or the medium size if you go with the large it's too wide and uh, it doesn't really work for what you need to do with it here. I'm gonna tie it in, if I can capture it here. Tie all the way back to where the tail fibers start and then right back up to the bead. Just kinda gonna let that hang there. Next, we're gonna take some copper wire. And the way I like to tie my wire in is I like to stick the end of it right inside that gap of the bead on top of the hook. And then just keep it on top of the hook shank and wrap all the way back to the tail fibers again. Now at this point, you want to make sure to lay down another good base of thread and cover every bit of that up. The wire, the flash, everything. Where you've just got a nice little thread body. No wire, no flash showing through. You just want that nice olive colored body. 
and you can taper it uh, it doesn't really matter I think but uh, I kind of add a little taper Alright, next we're going to take our copper wire, we're just going to spiral wrap all the way up to the bead. Capture it with our thread. And some people like to snip their wire off. I don't. Um, not only does it dull your scissors, but it leaves a little barb of the w copper wire sticking up. And uh, I don't. I don't like that. So what I do is I pull down on my thread, put some tension on it, and then I'll just grab that wire. Just kind of helicopter it off. There we go. And uh, as you can see, that's that's nice and clean now. There's no little barb of wire sticking up or anything like that. Now from there, we're going to take our flash and we're going to wrap in between our wire wraps. I like to try to get my my flash right up against my wire wraps if I can. All the way up to the bead. And again, just capture that right behind the bead. Snip that off. So, the fly is almost done, and a uh, little bit of loon flow. Any UV resin will work. Um, I don't like to use the thick or anything like that on flies like this. You just want something kind of kind of liquidy, like the like the loon flow. Just put some of that on the body and if you get too much uh, all you have to do is just take your fingers just kind of pinch the fly and any excess that you've got on there it'll take off harden that up and I like to put a, just a little bit of a dubbing collar um, this is SLF Prism Dub. Uh, it's kind of like a green copper color, so it goes really good with the fly. Uh, again, you can use any color you want. I just kind of like to keep it matching up with the fly body. So that green copper theme. Twist a little bit on your thread. Nice and tight right behind that bead. And then I'll take a little bit of super glue, just kind of rub it on my thread. And then whip finish. And that's it. Uh, again, I know it kind of seems like there's kind of a lot to this fly, but it, it's not bad. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. But this fly has been one of my top producers for a couple of years now. Um, I don't, I don't like to go fishing without this fly if I can help it. Um, I catch a ton of fish on it, wild stock. It doesn't matter. Everything eats it. Rainbows, browns. I've caught brooks on it. So I always like to make sure I have at least a half dozen of these in my box. But uh, nine times out of ten, you see me out fishing. I'm probably going to have one of these on. Alright guys, so that's it for the fly time. Um, 
if you have any questions about this fly or uh, anything like that you can comment on the video and ask me uh, message me whatever you need um, sorry for the quality of the video I'm having to film these fly time videos off my phone so sometimes they don't come in as focused or as clear as my YouTube videos from my GoPro but uh, I try my best but uh, yeah like I said if you have any questions you can message me and uh, if you want a closer look at the fly I'll post a picture of it up on Instagram also so thanks for checking it out